podcast with Marcus. Mm-hmm. Eat that shitter like Di- an apple fritter. Car ride. Your butt looks really nice. I'm going to take a picture right now. <laughs> Natasha. You can just get naked at your desk. Yeah, I'd probably get more loan dollars. <laughs> and Fox. I also have the ability to clear the room with my butt. Gryffindor? Wolf, Gryffindor? Wolf Tree. I think it's Wolf Tree. Is there an octopus one? It's like mm. the Kraken or something yeah, like actually, that. Yeah, actually, I think there is, there is yeah. one, yeah. It's the Kraken or whatever. I don't know. It I doesn't the matter. The Kraken's a squid anyways. Check my Kraken. You're going to check your Kraken? Yeah. Like your crack? What's crack a What? I don't know. I don't know. That was a very bad white joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Welcome to TF4 Podcast. Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm Kara. I'm Natasha. And I am Vox. And this is episode 28. 28. 28. 28. <laughs> we're, we're, we're so close to 30. 28. I, I felt left out. This episode <laughs> <laughs> This episode is the is is the number of my age next month. You're going to be 28 next month? Yep, I know I'm old as shit. What day is I just birthday? turned 24 yeah, on Wednesday. Yeah, he's so Wednesday. old. When? No. The 14th. I turned 24 on Wednesday. Or this past Wednesday. Yeah. Or two Wednesdays to do it. When is this going to be posted? Monday? So yeah, two, oh, last Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you young. So catch up to me, and mm. then I'm gonna jump away again. Oh, in you, oh, you youngins Are you older over here. Than me? Mm-hmm. Cara, I think we talk about this every single time we s- discuss birthdays. Yep. Yeah. But I think you're younger than me. I'm not. I'm 25 I'm, in November. Yeah, she is. I'm the only one here that was born before 1993. Tasha's the baby. She's Tasha's the baby. a baby. You're all babies. We had a new intro. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, it sounded great. I think he did a good job. I gotta turn this down. Shout Mark's out. like yelling in my yeah. ear. I turned down a little bit. Rude. Shout out to uh, the guy who made our new intro, Vox Adams. Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how hey, Mister. Can we have the rights to use that that intro? Is that um, okay? Yes, one hundred percent. Okay, because you seem to have a problem. We just wanted to make sure God that we damn, had guys. permission for that. This is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. So you want to explain what happened? This is so bad. Okay, so we officially got a okay from. We'll start from square one. I digging through bensounds.com. Thank digging you. Digging through is literally on like the through. main page. <laughs> Listen, I don't read. I was excited. We're doing. A You're like, this is so cool. Don't need to read everything. It's like exce- like saying that you read and agree to the terms and conditions, but you don't read but them you don't at read all. Them. Yep. There's 24 pages of terms and conditions. I agree do you accept. agree? Yes, yes, I do. Um, Did you read them all? Nope. They're going to get uh, your soul when, when you turn 24, but what it's fine. I'm already 24. And nobody um, likes you when you're 23 anyway, so it's fine. So listen. I shout out Blink One Eighty Two. I want it. stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I wanted to make a new new intro because we you know this intro that we have now is obviously new. It's different. It's uh, a little bit funnier in my opinion. I like it. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Anyways, so I'm digging through BenSounds dot com and realizing that uh, oh yeah, he hates podcasts. <laughs> so <laughs> hates podcasts. <laughs> he doesn't hate them as much as you thought. No, you're right about that. So, anyways, the the thing that he does, he makes music for people to use as long as you give him either a money or b attribution, whether it's for a video or a PowerPoint or whatever it may be. Except for podcasts, don't do podcasts. He don't like that. Yeah, he even he even had radio shows in there, yes, in he the, did. but not podcasts, no. which are the same fucking thing. No, he said no audio <laughs> podcast. Period. So, anyways, I found that out later on. We've been using his song, the intro, for the past twenty seven mm-hmm. episodes. Um, Ish, or no, twenty six, whatever. Twenty six, something it doesn't matter whatever. at this point. Uh, illegal, basically, and we. Not that he would sue us, but there was that case, you he know. Could, he it, could it, have. It's a possibility. He could have. Um, Take it anyway, to small claims court. Anyways, Vox before even telling us. I know. <laughs> anyways, so I emailed him, got everything situated. So YouTube has been wiped completely. Apologies for that. I, um, the first 26 episodes will not be there. You know, sorry. Whoops. Um, 28 will be there. So I'll get, once we're done recording this, I'll get it all mastered out. We'll put it on the, uh, you know computer put it on youtube no problem um the other issue we had though was with 8-bit universe who is the the main account i was using for the 8-bit challenge okay mm-hmm. yes my dumb ass didn't read that they said they, they want um us to contact them if we're going to use them for anything the main thing that they use uh their songs for is youtube they're the main thing that they're meaning that by is for youtube so, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. what i found out later on they said that we can give um, them complete attribution and plug them as much as possible, and we can use their songs as long as it's not monetized on YouTube, which 
Currently, I don't think we would I, need to monetize we, the video. It takes a lot to get monetized on YouTube now. I don't think we'll get there. It's not as hard soon. as you think it is. And no, they've made it harder. But before for, it for really, small before it really creators. means anything, it's gonna. It would be years. Yeah. And here's the thing, though: Do we really want to monetize our our YouTube videos? Yeah. We're gonna make no. one cent per like 100 views. Right. Okay? I don't think we need to monetize our music videos or our music videos. Goddamn, our YouTube videos. And I kind of told him that too. I was like, we don't have any plans. We do not sell ads. Now, if someone were to sponsor us, that's different from selling an advertisement. Yes. So, you know, what what should we do? They basically replied with, if you start selling ads or if you get to the point where you have sponsorship, just reach back out to us and let's discuss terms. We'll work out a deal. Yeah. So, not that we do an eight bit challenge every mu- or every video, because we don't, or every recording. I mean. <laughs> I'm all, I'm all over the yeah, place. Yeah, what's going on? But we we don't. So here's the thing. The videos or the podcasts that we do for YouTube or for our website that we do our APA challenge, we'll just plug the shit out of them. Yeah. And, and we're, then we'll be done. We're going to do our best Which to Which is great sure. because as soon as we started actually using them, you already were like, these guys have the best 8-bit yeah. oh, versions yeah. of do. these songs. They it's do. They do. They're so good. They're, they're really good at we, it. We need to, uh, from now on, we need to do our best to uh, plug the shit out of whatever we're utilizing of anybody else's content because we all know the moral and of the story the is Fox doesn't read. <laughs> I, d- I have a hard time <laughs> reading. I can't read English. I'm sorry. You know? Yeah. If it was I written, have Jared. I'm 19. <laughs> I never fucking learned <laughs> how to read. If it was read. written in fucking binary, <laughs> you'd have a better <laughs> shot at it, I guess. Um, the, the other thing I'm, I wanted to say, too, if we play music, we, for the most part, we fucking love the music that we're playing, you know? Yeah. Whether it's A-Bit Challenge or we're listening to a cover or we're listening to a new Demi Lovato song, it doesn't matter. We love those guys, and we're not trying to take anything away from them by putting out music for free. We're right. trying Unless to we're say, listening to something going, wow, this sucks. And it's not like we're that. trying to advertise ourselves you with metal. utilizing their, their content to monetize ourselves. That's right. not the point either. So uh, I I don't think we'll have any issues with it in the future, and I know as at least as far as YouTube goes, they they have a fair fair use agreement with yeah. with any content there. So uh, fi- I think it's fifteen seconds or under. We're not a big, we're fine with that. Yeah, and I'm not, there's I'm no not big deal worry, there. I'm not gonna worry about but it. But on the on the note of the intros, Fox, you've done a good job. You make us feel well. At least you make me feel funnier than I am. Yeah, <laughs> listen, <too. laughs> I want to. I mean, like, why all, did I say that? We all I'm, have great one-liners. I'm gonna get a little emotional and sentimental right now. Ooh, mm-hmm. well, um, can I, I'm can really I record this. Go ahead if you I'm want. Just to. We're recording <laughs> this. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Um, I really, I'm really excited to be doing this with you guys. We've said it time and time and time again that we've planned for over a year for trying to do it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I've gotten Natasha out of her comfort zone. I've gotten Kara to be way more comfort comfortable. Zone now. Yeah, well, you're right. You're right. I've gotten Kara to be way more comfortable with hearing her own voice. Hopefully, hearing yeah. her own voice. Mark, you and I are just kind of an outgoing personality, yeah. anyway. So it's not something that's you guys necessarily love foreign hearing your own us. voice. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. They I'm like talking little, a lot. I'm a little conceited, but yeah. you know. I sound um, fucking little. great, so... <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys this, too, because I think I only told Tosh, and they are no longer in existence, but I've recorded about seven episodes by myself. Really? Yeah. And after we listening to them, I, at, we've actually covered the topics that I kind of addressed in each one of these episodes. They're only about 15, 20 minutes long a piece. I did it for myself to kind of get way to more listen comfortable. listen to yourself talk more? Yes, obviously. <laughs> I wanted to just, you know... He lays in bed and listens to, he the listens to himself. Fall asleep to my own voice. Um, no, I, just, I wanted to get more comfortable and um, more fluent. Yeah. I've tried to reduce the swearing, as you know, so, we know. But so are you saying that there might be some mystery episodes that come come forward? In not the of me solo, <laughs> but of something else, definitely. I think there should be. I've destroyed everything of me indivi- oh, of individually. I'm upset um, now. Not to say that I won't do it again, <laughs> because who knows. But at this point, I was just doing it to get comfortable. I was testing things. I was trying different things. Um, and it was during, like, the first four or five episodes that we did and then recently like almost actually a month ago i was doing it i was like we were at like episode 22 and i was kind of okay. solo sound check so yeah i was just doing stuff i got bored and i was sick of i was in a rut with music making and i didn't want to play dota anymore and tash wasn't what? getting home till six thirty. so i was like i'm gonna sit down and talk into a microphone by myself and it was weird but i got comfortable with it so it made me feel better but i just i don't know i appreciate doing it with you guys and i know we have our weird schedules and our delays on everything but you know, which things will change. It makes Hopefully me s- after after next week, right? Things will get way way more smooth for all Mr. of us. Mr. I work days now. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, I don't know. It's it's nice to me to say that you know I got Tosh out of her comfort zone with you know being kind of 
not knowing what she wants to do as a hobby or anything like that. Because now it's like Wednesday afternoon, I want a podcast. You know, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. You know as much I, I love do. podcasting. And Cara, it's so much fun. Still, and, and I appreciate you. I I swear because look at what's in front of you right now. You have more laid out notes and direction of where we want to go with each episode yeah. than anything. To be fair, I wrote that down. She just made it look better. Listen, Mark. <laughs> he stole my pen while I was in the middle yes, of doing it. Yes, I did. It. And Mark, like, I, I want to do it first. <laughs> I'm very glad that your head is growing bigger than anything else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for commenting. Yeah, he's I'm talking about the other head, by the way. Oh. I'm a grower, not a shower. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so, 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 so all sentiment of a So you're, you're saying you're how, how excited you are to do this. And yeah, of it's, course. It's kind of hilarious that, you know, about 10 minutes ago, you were telling us that you aren't an excitable person. And it's very weird. You guys have done something very exciting. Oh God! Yeah. So this could be one That's of more scary usually. It, but I, it uh, is Tosh kind of is very excited. I'm I'm very excited. She's more excited than I am. Scared. Uh, long, long, long story short, uh, this could be one of the few or one of the well, probably last three episodes that we're recording in the apartment. Yeah. And then ah! we'll be moved into the house. The new the so new studio. The what new do studio. we call the studio? Oh, we that's a good one. With a good the nudio. The nudio. <laughs> Everyone, we all just sit naked at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, well, no, Drew and Mike have the the deals in the D.com studios, but they're sponsored. So let's yeah. get a big old sponsor. Yeah, Dave and Chuck do the, do the same thing with their sponsors. Every, every week they change. Uh, it's whatever oh, it's their sponsor is. Every week? Every time they change a sponsor for that episode, that's what they call the studio. I mean, I don't listen, I don't listen to them that much anymore. Yo, so. Dollar Beard Club, sponsor Mark. Please. <laughs> Holy let's go. Shit. We got the Bearded Wonder over here. Holy what are you doing? Shit. Like, if you saw my beard, you'd want to sponsor me. Yeah. yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't deny Send it. Send it to them. There you go, I dude. Let's just take a just bottom shot. Your yeah. nose down. Exactly and what I was say, thinking. Uh, like put TF4 podcast right on, right across your beard <laughs> and say sponsor us. Let's okay. do one of those weird like soup bowls out of your beard and then have like the sign sitting in it. No, what? I'd rather not do You've that. You know what you need to do. You no. need to do before you contact Dollar Beard Club. Get a hold of whoever does Arby's PR and come up with something with them. Fuck yeah. You like Arby's? Arby? No, have you? Their seen PR is I like hilarious. Arby's, but have you seen their fucking marketing department? I've it's seen awesome. Wendy's on Everything Twitter. Everything they post on Facebook and and uh, was it Twitter and Instagram? I feel like I'm Everything right is now. on fire. Like Arby's is just great. Is it like, burning? Just like literally something. on fire? No, no. Oh. like like they make so many anime references and movie oh. references. <laughs> it's just and most of the stuff they do, they build it out of. Arby's like cartons and sauces and their their oh, wrappers. Yeah, really, awesome. it's awesome. That's crazy. Dude, Where they have they have some some cool ass fucking team members there. Hmm. Not sponsored. Do um, help? Oh yeah. Which one are you showing? Oh me? whoa. This one is um, the rotisserie Zelda. Yeah, yeah. They did one. Remember how that That's that cool. knuckles meme? Oh, let me see that again. Remember how that knuckles meme kind of fucking blew up? That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, they do yeah. that with all kinds so, of stuff. So, so at one point they had they had an, a small ad. I don't know how long it ran for, or if it was even like nationally like used. But I saw it on Facebook flash by once. It was somebody writing in an Arby's packet, like it says, "We know the way," and then oh, had no. a fucking Arby's sandwich pop up on the screen. And I was like, "They're they're winning. <laughs> <laughs> they're just winning." Hey, I mean, Wendy's on Twitter is pretty funny. Wendy's, Wendy's on Twitter is great. They do. Re- they They're do really fucking good savage. Um, anyways, though, long well, like I said, long story short, we'll be in a new house eventually. So yeah, with it by, probably by September we'll be in there. So Yay. if you're hearing this and it's September, we're in a new house. If yeah. you're hearing this next on Monday, then hi, thanks for listening Almost. constantly. <laughs> no, then <laughs> another thing that happened. Uh, if if we were on like live video right now, everyone would be wondering what the fuck you were doing with your hand. Oh man, are we gonna talk about this? Yeah, I'm gonna need new ice soon. I know. I was. I was we we if you we always know. update on things that happen in our personal life. So Car- I blame Kara. <laughs> you blame me? <laughs> yes. Miss, I gotta eat better. And it's not I, her I fault. I know, it, I'm just <laughs> fucking with. To you. be fair, I pressured you into into being. And Mark, like, seriously, I texted you yesterday. I'm really glad, gl- really glad that you did that yeah. because. You need to be able to take your frustrations out on someone, yes? Yeah, and changing your whole Hi. I'm dripping. Okay. Changing your whole <laughs> style of eating and like you said, the best thing that Mark said to me yesterday was, Yeah, I can't imagine going from eating whatever I want to strictly almost vegetables. You know, you'd want, I would kill myself. Yeah, you would want to die. I, I, to, I, told, I told Vox I would rather go hungry than have to eat vegetables. I have no idea up. what your conversation was. I didn't even know that you guys were texting each other. Yeah, so we, you know Oh yeah. Well I, Mark loves the shit out of you, so remember that. Um he was just yeah, like, I feel like that prefaces he said something that's I gonna just make said you were being a butthead said and you were frustrated exactly with me. Exactly that. And, 
and I was just trying to do what I could to help you. That was yeah. all. So, Clara, we talked before that you're having, is it a gallbladder? Yeah. Okay. So whatever. I haven't followed up with the stuff. I'm supposed no, to decide for haven't. the diet change. I was supposed to set up an ultrasound thing, and I didn't. Well, do that, please, because we care about you, and we want to see. I lost the phone number. Clara. Clara. <laughs> She's full of excuses. It's okay. Anyways, I cooked a dinner for us tonight yes, because. It was great. Well, thank you. I I want to be able to accommodate everyone. That's not. I don't. I I feel uncomfortable if, you know, if I walked You're into a house. Pizza in front of her. Yeah, <laughs> and, but if I walked into a party or a house or a gathering with my friends and they're like, hey, "You can't eat this," but I'm going to eat it anyway. Like that's mm-hmm. not fair, you know. And then it makes me want to snack, but there's nothing that I can snack exactly. on. But exactly. you know what's you know what's Celery weird is that I haven't noticed very much change except for one thing that was like really really bothering me, which is, uh, I think I said it when we first started talking in the sure. in the prop room when sure. Michelle mentioned what it might be, but when I drive home, like I get these bad pains like in my back, like in the middle of my back, and I normally do because I have a bigger chest yeah. and because I'm sitting at a desk you all say day you got long. Big boobs, is that what you're Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so I normally <laughs> have Large back pains, tits. but like the the sharp <laughs> pains that I feel that make me have to drive with like a fist pressed into my spine yeah. while I'm like w- driving that's with the awful. other hand, it, they've been going away. I haven't been ha- getting them since back. you've changed it. Yeah, because that's something that comes with the gallbladder stuff. Is you have a lot of pain across your chest well, and that's in your fantastic. back. Fantastic. Mammoth memories. Anyway, uh, wow. Well, that's fantastic, Carl. For real, I'm I'm glad that at least something you've noticed something changing. Mm-hmm. I know it's pro- it's probably difficult because yeah. I eat and drink whatever I want. Yeah. You know, and, and I what's funny is uh, when she first heard about this diet thing, she was very upset. Obviously, I hear you over there. and I told her I was like, "Look, if I can stop drinking Mountain Dew, you can handle this." Because that's, I that's I am great I'm on what it. almost three months like caffeine Seriously? free, pretty much. Yeah. Mike, you're blowing my mind. It sucks. I know. Because <laughs> yeah. you have no idea. Uh, like, most of the people I work with drink Mountain Dew. So every day I'm seeing ice cold Mountain Dew go by me, and I'm just like, uh, <sighs> I know. Because <laughs> it tastes so good. Uh, well, it. yeah. And, 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 uh, I, now and then I'll drink, drink like a caffeine free pop, like a, like a Fanta or. What are you drinking right now? Or like, right now I'm drinking Canada Dry with lemonade, yeah. which is weird. Is it good though? It's good. I like but it. it's better with whiskey in it, so that's good. That's true. I have caps. I, I, I put some. So. I put some whiskey in it, so it's good. And then, uh, but no, that's caffeine free. I've been drinking every now and then. I'll drink a caffeine free yeah. beverage, uh, like pop. This Usually. is my third one since I stopped drinking pop. So interesting. Yeah. Um, but the unfortunate part is, I I, I remembered. Hey, Fago makes a lot of caffeine free beverages. Yeah, they do. I'm gonna check those out. Fago so good. Fucking Moon Mist is basically Mountain Dew, right? So good. Moon Mist has caffeine. Uh, yeah. There's no diet Moon Mist. No. Oh. Not well. There probably is, but I. What kind of gas station is going to sell that? You're Come right. on now. You're right. The only diet I've seen normally sold is Red Pop. Oh. Their Red Pop diet. Well, Red, Red Pop, Pop is diet good, cola. but I don't, yeah, whatever. Car likes the diet Red Pop. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, though, so I'm I'm cooking dinner because I want to accommodate. Thanks, baby. I want to accommodate. Uh, I want to accommodate everyone. You know. Car is having mean mashed potatoes too. No. Well, Tosh made those. Not oh, thank me. you, Tosh. So oh, great. It's like um, three different kinds. Um, anyways, fat-free, salt, well, basically salt-free. Were you okay over there? You're all right. It's yellow. You're fine. You'll be fine. Yellow? Um, I grabbed the fucking pan to pull it out of the oven, and it the pan burned right through the, uh, the, oven, the mitt? oven mitt at 500 degrees and seared my three fingers. So it's basically my middle finger. Here you go, Mark. Uh, thanks. Uh, my index finger, because yeah. I'm a child. And my pinky finger because yeah. I'm pantsy. You know? Hey, those are the same three fingers one of my coworkers cut off at work. <laughs> oh, oh my shit. God. He, he got two of them put back on. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm very he, fortunate. He lost his pinky forever. This. Thank you for giving me this ice. This feels a lot. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. He lost his pinky forever. And Tosh just got me some ice. But I've been icing it for fucking, what, six hours now? Uh, yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. Ah, man, it still burns the shit out of me. Well, yeah. It's you terrible. Need to get, you, need to get, you need to get a little bit of aloe on it, and you'll be fine. Yeah, well, we do have aloe, but I've been taking we could try it. Tylenol and stuff. And I drinking. called my dad, the EMT. Thanks, <laughs> Father. Uh, and he's like, well, if it's blistering. You might want to see a doctor. Don't pop them if you lost oh, skin. Yeah. You know, get some, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever. I'm just not, I'm, I've am i been drinking a little bit. So What you got to do is just make sure you don't cover it all night. Yeah, that's what she said. You get, you have to cover it, but you can't keep it totally covered because it's got to air yeah, out. Yeah, it's got to air out. It's like, I can't win on this shit. Yeah, there was one time I dropped a bowling ball on my finger. Well, not dropped. I caught the bowling ball and it landed on my finger. Oh, uh-huh. sure. <laughs> and I, like, at, I had it covered and, like, I had pressure on it, like, all day. And then it, they were like, 
at nighttime you have to take the pressure off of it. Yeah. Yep. And I did, and it and was it hurt like a motherfucker. It was, hurt so bad, yep. and then I ended up going to the doctors, and they gave me pain meds, and then they gave me Jeez. like a splint to put on my finger. It's awful. Yeah, I've broken enough bones to figure out how that shit works. Plus, first aid, cer- first aid AAD certified. I. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a first responder at my job now. I'm going to get him a t-shirt that says that because he says it like every day now. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is it yeah, something you really do. You say it like every day. I don't but believe Are you I proud do. of it? Let me yeah, ask you. I'm pretty that. proud of it. Okay, yeah. then that's fine. I mean, I can I can save a life. No I'm shame in certified to. I'm certified to give you CPR if you're dying. Well, so. I'm certified of clearing a room out with my butt. So. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, see? You you, you have that sound bite <laughs> in, in an intro. <laughs> oh, fuck, I do. <laughs> that's where it came from. Not a new sound bite. Damn nice it. job. I'm not going to like, I thought song. I heard that somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was me. Oh, yeah, it was I clever. It. Oh, yeah, I already said it. Fuck. Excuse me, I tooted. <laughs> That's the other one I like the most. Anyways. Kara, what are you doing? They're just they're looking through periodicals. Yeah, we were looking at the magazine. Pop culture. What is that? Us Weekly? Is that what this is? I don't know. Life and uh, Style. Us Weekly. Us Weekly's garbage. I, I don't know. I was looking at this, and I was like, this bachelor chick looks kind of like Colby Kelly. She kind of does. Did we talk to her She's about... Pretty. Wait, what? Team yeah. Z. This Rebecca, Rebecca chick. Kufrin. She looks like Kobe Kelly. Kufrin. Ew, she weird. does, except like, you wait. You say, ew, she does. Ew, yeah. she's pretty. Oh, oh, shut give, up. Give me, this, give me these papers. Tash is like, do you think this chick's pretty? And mind you, I'm to the point now with Tash, I'll just tell her if someone's pretty. No, she's not pretty. No. And Sorry. It, it's like, he thinks all these ugly girls are pretty, but all these pretty girls are ugly. Girl. So I'm like, now I know why you're with me. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah, you're hilarious. <laughs> Mark. Yes. We're almost 20 minutes into this bitch. We are. And, you know, at this point, we don't have a sponsor. No. We don't have well, we any kind of, kind of... Well, we don't... Have, we eh, A little bit. So, Bensounds.com and... The so here's the paper. way I would like to do it, and I think... Smack uh, it out of the park, buddy. I think we should do our plugs at the beginning and end of our episodes. Kind of lead us in and take us different. out. Remind everybody and, we'll uh, and then our sponsors in the center. through all of it, though. So yeah, here, here's, our, here's our nice little list of plugs that we have affi- we've written out to make a little more professional. Let's do it. Here we go. Please visit our website at tf4podcast.com. You can listen and download episodes, check out our blog posts and updates, as well as some tidbits about about us. Uh, you can also find us find our episodes on all your go to podcast apps, including iTunes, Podcast Addict, Cast, Castbox, and Podbean. Pretty much everything except Spotify. That costs money. Please subscribe and leave us a review and rating. Uh, it's a great way to support us for free. It also goes a long way towards promoting <laughs> promoting us and ga- uh, helping us gain popularity. You can also find us on Facebook by searching t- for TF4 Podcast. We post weekly updates and share our episodes. Drop us a like and follow us there. And you can hear papers. Uh, to stay connected for when we make new posts. Uh, if you're interested in owning some of your very own podcast merch, check us out on Redbubble. We currently have stickers, mugs, and phone cases available. Every purchase goes to support our growth, and we appreciate you guys. Making our logo day to day, rocking our logo day to day. Rocking, rocking. Whoops. You'll get there. It's fine. We'll uh, record this individually. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have finally launched our YouTube channel, and we'll be posting our future episodes. And starting at twenty eight, they'll be yeah, they'll be available to listen to. Just search for TF4 podcast and like, like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy us so much that you would like to support us. I uh, yeah. You'll find Thanks, it. Cara. You'll find <laughs> it. If you enjoy us so much that you would like to support us financially, you can become a patron at patreon.com. Just search for TF4 Podcast and you'll see a variety of reward tiers where we can give you awesome stuff in exchange for your support. And uh shout out to Dustin and Steve. Thank you, our buddy. Current, Thank our you. current patrons. Mm-hmm. And Thank uh you. in the future, we'll be shouting out all of our $5 and up patrons. And we'll mm-hmm. get up. Oh, oh, I mean, very well done, Mark. By the I way. try. It's fine. We'll I'll get, get better there. at it as we go. The best part about this all is this is our first like scripted segment. So once we get everything recorded, I said semi scripted. Well, yeah. I, sometimes you gotta ad lib a little. That's fine, and that's the best part about yeah. it. I'd rather listen to ad lib than you know. What's What's ch- great ch- is when What's going to be on. great is when a, like we get a, fo- a sponsor finally, and they give us ad ad reads, and we make them funny, mm, mm, even when mm, they're not. I love that. <laughs> I love that, Doctor Roche. Who sponsors a bunch of people, including Drew and Mike and uh, <laughs> Dave and Chuck? I want to talk about boobies, man. <laughs> G- give me that sponsorship because he does boob. You or, just cut this clip breast and just s- email it to him. And say, <laughs> I want to talk about boobies. I want to talk about boobies. No, breast <laughs> augmentation. Come on, them gummy bears. That's all I hear about. Gummy all bears. the terror. Gummy bears. The gummy bear <laughs> implants. Shit. That's what they call them. <laughs> what? Dr. Roche. He's a We talk about it a lot more if you'd uh, sponsor us. Dr. Roche. 
<laughs> Can you just hear how smooth Locke says, Dr. Roche? Like, ready? Ready for this? Dr. Roche. <laughs> I want to talk about sexual boobs. wellness. I, know, I feel like that's kind of se- sexual. <laughs> there are boobs implants. Like, what do you want? Uh, from no, me? a couple of the podcasts I listen to, they they're sponsored by this uh, this site that helps men regrow their hair naturally and all this stuff, and and it also can help re- increase their sexual wellness. And they Ooh. say it like they say it sexual just like that, wellness. and they stare at each other when they say it, and I lose my shit. Hey, like, Mark, sexual wellness, sexual wellness. Mm. Staring at each oh, other. Oh, dude, he <laughs> did the little eyebrow peek. Like, yeah. mm, I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> peek my interest a little bit. Hey, Mark, watch yes. out. Uh oh. <laughs> do you want some, shit, do you want some of this <laughs> sexual wellness? Oh, Car, I'm scared. <laughs> 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 we're 25 in. What do we got to talk about today? Uh, Car. We're going to talk about me? Yes, no, Cara. No, Cara, Cara, Cara had me. something she done? wanted to do. She flips her hair over her shoulder. Oh, my God. What's going on today? Talk about me today. Oh. How has your hair grown so fast? <laughs> I'm pissed at you. Um, so I do this thing where I like go to bed and she wake up and it's longer. It. <laughs> I just let it grow by itself. I do this thing where my cells die and literally turns into hair. My yeah. hair has been my hair has been the same length for like three years. You noticed the braid today? Mm-hmm. I did yeah. notice. Very yeah. bad. I ver- I was very obsessed. She did it really because I looked at the back of it and times. I was like, it looks really cute. Oh, I just did didn't you, say anything. Did you notice the ponytail today? I have. Yeah, my, hair's, my hair's finally long enough to put back in a hoodie, too. Are you trying to get oh, a yeah. ponytail? Okay, Mark, you made me a little uncomfortable, but I'm not going to hate on you. <laughs> you. Do your own thing. My dad has a ponytail. Yeah, well. Yeah, your dad looks awesome. No, your dad yeah. does not have a ponytail. He cut his he hair. He used to. No. Whatever. Yeah, when I met your dad, I was like, he looks like he could be in a rock band. Well, listen, mm-hmm. he's salt and pepper, cool a little guy. bit bigger. He looks great. You know? Yeah, he's doing Looks thing. great. Um, there's a huge thing going around right now. Well, actually, it's been going around. Besides my dick? And. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this drink away from you. It seems like it's getting to you. You're all done, Mark. You mean cut off. I thought that was clever. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Last episode, we got a little into it. Actually, uh, let me rephrase that. Mark and Natasha got a little into it. Oh, it's yeah. okay. With their standings. I'm not necessarily. To the point where afterwards, Fox is like, you don't you don't support like child rapists, right? And Mark's <laughs> like, no. I was real confused. Hey, right I had to there. play a little devil's advocate. We I don't, know, you I'm don't like have enough drama on this show. I was like getting heated. She I got up and she's like, like, like I'm, I'm hot. Like, People I'm hot like right drama, now. okay? She was fanning herself. Like, getting <laughs> pissed. She, she was, was like listening. pissed off and like, I, I got to calm down. She was in a fever pitch. Um, Vaccines, man. I just don't. No, I don't really truly know your guys. Do they cause autism? I don't. No, but I don't that's know not the. That's not the <laughs> discussion today. I don't the know discussion is. <laughs> that's about as bad as the one. Dude, the discussion <laughs> is based off of recent Facebook posts from friends who have vaccines. They, but it's been no, a common what? trend. <laughs> they our friends have vaccines. They just yeah. have vaccines. Like autism. Did vaccines cause nine eleven? <laughs> I thought that was George Bush. <laughs> Listen here, that's gonna probably be edited. He, got a, he <laughs> got a vaccine and was compelled to make nine eleven happen. <laughs> Fucking, that's gonna be a sound bite for an intro. <laughs> Vaccines called nine eleven. I don't know about that one. <laughs> let's not. That's let's very not. offensive. We can't get that edgy. Come on, I'll keep it in the episode, <laughs> but uh, we'll put that in an intro. Sorry. No. <laughs> By the way, I don't think nine eleven is funny. It's very sad. And Vox and I are going to Ground Zero. We are. Anyway, we're not going to get into that. I, I won't comment on that. Stop what was the it. What was the post exactly that was? Can you oh, pull that up, Mark? It was it, the post originally was a video that discusses the fact. Well, the this gender quote does unquote not fact exist. Oh, that that was last th- not that. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, it discusses <laughs> it discusses the evidence behind vaccines not causing autism. Okay, that's what that all started from, and uh, the discussion was the discussion turned quickly to not whether or not vaccines cause autism but whether or not we should vaccinate our children and whether that's a responsible choice to make for parents whether it should be maybe a law or a decision by the parents uh, i think it's just more of what's right and what's wrong okay like but i, I mean know. we had kind of discussed like the fact that somebody who now who has a couple month old baby like well he's like eight nine months old now but um that she has him and she saw that and she has her opinion on vaccines and she shared it and ended up in a conversation with my dad, which we decided to save to discuss further here. So that's why <laughs> I figured we we're going to open what that. What is the stance of, of this person, though? Is, is she saying that, yes, she, I want a vaccine? She, wants vaccine. she, she does believe in vaccine, she vaccinating does. her child. So yes. okay. do they think that it should be the child's choice to vaccinate or? 
Uh, I, just, I don't think that should ever be the case. The uh, child's not old it enough. Depends, right. it depends yeah, who that's what I'm saying. So that's what I was trying to, ex- like, what we were talking about earlier. You know, she she does, she's pro-vaccinations, you know, everything that she's, she feels that, you know, they wouldn't give us these things if they were going to be harmful. But at the same time, she doesn't have that mentality where it's like, if some, if like, what if my child becomes autistic, then... It, it's the end of the world. She'd like, I'd rather have my child have autism than have some kind of deadly disease or something like that. Right. It's, it's, I don't think it's a matter of, of, of vaccinating to prevent autism. Yeah. Okay. I, it, no, it's, it's the idea. No, 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 that yeah. No, not, like, not to prevent her, autism, no. but that'd be more of a choice of like, do you not vaccinate because of the chance of, causing autism or do vaccines actually cause autism which that post is saying that vaccine was that post saying that vaccines do cause autism don't. or don't it was saying they don't but some people do believe that they do yeah, and, and my dad bullshit, was one of the people opinion. that commented on there that, that he's they could had possibly do it. we've had people in our family and in our friends group who have had adverse reactions to vaccinations or members of the family who were pregnant and got vaccinated for something sure. that affected the baby in a negative or way antibiotics, stuff like that yeah or antibiotics we've had we had a cousin who passed away who was one of six, six people six people nationally that had the reaction he did to z packs and it Jesus killed his liver Christ. so uh, my thing i mean if you're getting you shouldn't be getting those kind of shots or vaccines and stuff when you're pregnant i feel like that's just kind of well some of them some sense. of them at least at that time because they would you know they'd be older now yeah like they're still people that are in your 40s and 50s their parents were being vaccinated it was something that they were supposed to be getting while they were pregnant oh, okay but Here's what my thing like i don't know my, how i feel is like, I'm going to get my child vaccinated because I don't want them getting sick and I don't want them because there's so many cases now, like meningitis. And what is it? There's another one that's really they, we prevalent recently right just now. had a four month old die from meningitis because yeah. he was in contact oh, with a child who wasn't vaccinated. And then like, there's another. What? Yeah, there's another disease. Just I don't know what it's ago. called, but there's another disease that hasn't been the measles. Yeah. And it hasn't been relevant since like 2000. And now all of a sudden it's. Yeah this huge thing wait like measles is making a comeback into the news yes yeah, because because, because of unvaccinated children oh there's, come well, there's on like, people there's the measles vaccine is very important well of course it is yeah and there's like community communities of people that aren't getting their kids vaccinated so it's just traveling around and and that's that's my bottom line to this argument is that really would you rather your child get sick or or come down with a terminal illness or a disease or would you rather your child be autistic like if if you believe (coughs) vaccines cause autism why is an autistic child so much more of a negative negative than a dead or sick child yeah well and that's the thing i like why would you rather have like why would you rather have your kid sick or die right like it's just sad i I so, like, what, are you, what is your opinion? Because you guys don't really plan on having children. But, I mean, mm. we will. if you did, ha- yeah, if you do have children, <laughs> what do you feel like you're going to do? Do you feel like you're going to vaccinate? We will vaccinate. If I have no a kid, questions asked. Totally hypothetical. Yeah. If I have a kid, that bitch is getting vaccinated. That's the thing. My thing is, is I, I got vaccinated. He, w- he will also refer to it as that bitch. That bitch. Whether it's a boy <laughs> or a girl, that little bitch. Anyways, seriously, on all jokes aside, why would, and I agree with the person that was commenting, why would I rather have a person get polio, the measles, smallpox, bubonic plague, black plague, whatever, <laughs> rather than having an, an, an autistic kid? Right. So like, what? So Unless what he's alive and healthy. That's my problem with it is people, people are taking this subject and making autism seem like such a negative. And, and don't get me wrong. I, I mean... I'm going to pause you, Mark. There's what? a spider right above your head. He's climbing towards the ceiling. Where? I thought I grabbed it and I took it outside. I, did. I, I was wondering it. what you were doing. Oh, did you kill Don't him? Kill it. I'm so sorry that happened oh. to you, Spider. But <laughs> <laughs> Don't hang above me. I I have a radius and you were in it, motherfucker. You just literally crushed it and wiped it on your face. I pants. mean, it's, it's the definitely, most metal thing it's I've ever definitely seen. more of a. I could have eaten him. I don't know. That'd be gross. <laughs> That'd be gross. Fucking Spider Man. It's definitely Ozzy more. Sorry, it's definitely more of a challenge to have an autistic child. I mean, I don't know, but from. What I've seen and everything, it's definitely more of a challenge to, ha- to have an autistic Absolutely. child than to have a... a Special needs children are always going yeah, to be... Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to say... Because it's not like they're unhealthy or anything. Like they're right. right. Special needs children are always going to be more of a challenge exactly. to, to raise and take care of. But is that more of a problem than a 
dying or sick child? Yeah. yeah I See, don't, am I, am I the, okay, so that's why I was asking, like, what your guys' opinions were. Like, are you planning on vaccine, vaccinating yes. your children? Like, all, everything. Yeah. Because I, I don't. I, I don't, mean, I don't see... I don't feel... I don't see... I don't feel that I, I would want to do all of the vaccinations. I don't do the annual flu vaccine. I, I probably oh, wouldn't have my do kids I. do it. Do I. I didn't do... like my. It was a huge thing when I was in middle school. They came out with that human papillon, HPV, the HPV, HPV. vaccine mm-hmm. and they were actually saying like you have to have this in order to be able to come back to school Correct. it was a, like yep, a mandatory I thing I did not get it my dad had a huge issue with it he's like I don't feel like this thing is this is so brand new and you're gonna and immediately when it first came force, out, it wasn't FDA force all these kids especially like girls you know 15 or 13 and older in women than it is right in, in to, it was 13 and older to get these things and then now they're saying that there's there's arguments on both sides saying that there are people who are developing like ovarian cancer and that kind of stuff that could be linked to the vaccine itself. So my dad was my dad's very firm that there are vaccines that are necessary. You know, when your baby is born, there's things that sure. it needs. But when it's when you get older, there's stuff. It's just not necessary. You shouldn't be able to make those kind of things mandatory for a c- child to be able to have an education. And, and let me put it this way. The HPV va- vaccine in general, in er, in particular, I mean, that's to prevent the human papilloma virus, which which can lead to cervical cancer. Now, HPV is, is a sexually transmitted disease, Correct. but it is also passable through saliva. It is one of the few STD that's not strictly an STD or uh, STI, whatever either. you want to call it. Yeah, sure. Um, but men can be a silent carrier of HPV and never show a sign of it. And that's what makes it dangerous. I have heard that, actually. See, I don't know enough about them, them like those things themselves to, develop, to, like, to have my own opinion right now on the getting the vaccine or not. I just don't think that it's fair in the context that my dad believed in it was that it should be forced onto somebody, especially if it's not something that I don't, I don't know like you don't <laughs> know this necessary yeah why, it's not why necessary should it be mandatory? you know like yeah sure meningitis you should probably get your kid vaccinated sure. for that because the, i'm yeah. pretty sure that's the one that can kill a kid in like 24 hours oh yeah mm. oh yeah car that's a really actually a good point and it kind of makes me think right now because i don't get the flu virus Neither do I. Uh, shot either because mm. i believe that certain uh, things are good for your immune system to build up a resistance against. So, get the feel, get the flu. As long as it's not super early on, like infant. Well, of course, of course. No, you're yeah. like you know, you're you're five, six years old. Get the flu. Yeah. That way, your immune system can you know kind of build up a resistance to that. And I guess that's kind of the gray area because I don't want my kid to get uh, measles or smallpox. Okay, right. sorry, but. And to have him to get the flu, that's just like a thing. Like it's like getting a cold. Right, and, and I mean, it's like, like get it's it to like your trying to take nose. you know over the counter medication for every small little thing that you're feeling. Your body develops up de- develops defenses against that, and it's not going to uh-huh. take the same effect. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a strong comparison, but it's just like you know, you do drugs, you do you take a lot of drugs, you do a lot of cocaine yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and eventually, the normal amount doesn't do anything for you. You have to take more. Extra, you have to take extra, more. You have extra. to take more to feel what you want to feel. So my thing is, is I, I got all the vaccinations growing up. I got what you know, whatever I was qualified or whatever I needed for school. I got the HPV um, shot. I, I didn't get HPV. I promise. You got HPV. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit my got, drink everywhere. I got the HPV. <laughs> got um, the HPV. Got the H- what are you telling I me? Got AIDS. <laughs> as a child, I got like I got sick a normal amount, and now as an adult, like. Vox will get sick and I will like sleep in the same bed as him. I'll kiss him and I don't get sick. And I really like like there's times where I get like a cough or like a stuffy nose or whatever. But I really like I'm not not that I'm a dirty person, but I'm not like super like you're disgusting. Ew, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> That's a public bathroom. Like I'm not like I'm going to you know, I'm just very like whatever. Like That's me, I'm not going to get sick. And like I'm my a germ guy. Get the fuck away I, from Yeah. Me. If I'm like I feel like. Dealing with dirtier things will make my immune system tougher, which probably I kind tr- of probably has. True. Well, because I'm not true. all like Ooh, five second rule that. is Ooh, perfect for your immune system. I'm telling Absolutely. You. <laughs> Here's the road I was going to go down for the gross out factor. I read a study not too long ago, probably a year or two ago, that picking your nose and kids that and eating eat, it. Yes, eat their I, I heard that too. Yeah, that pick their nose. There's and like eat their doctors boogers. that are talking about it. That Are, it's like it's really fine for your kids to eat their boogers. To build their immune system, it's really good to build because your nose, like your the hairs in your nostril, pick up part particles of things that are in your environment when you're inhaling so when they pull the boogers out they they're getting like they're still getting that dirt and yeah. kind of stuff and if they eat it 
then their body is building up defenses against those things in small amounts. This episode oh, just went gross. from should you get vaccinated to school, should you eat girl, your boogers? Yeah, a girl in <laughs> elementary school that used to pick gross. her nose and eat her boogers just must be really healthy now. She's the healthiest <laughs> bitch in the world <laughs> Let me right look now. her up. Maybe she's... But yeah, but I mean, they, they, there's a lot of things that show that, you know, those, those sicknesses build up your immune system. My brother was born sick. He was very, very sick. And now he, out of Which all one? four of us, Nick, ah, he, out of all bitch. four of us, like almost never healthiest. gets sick. Like he, I know. He's he absolutely just, yeah, healthiest. Yeah, he never gets sick. Um, the other one, and this is kind of a satirical thing, but it was some random dude was trying to do a study on it that smelling your spouse's farts is good for cancer cells. It fights against cancer what? cells. I'm not joking. That is not I me being I'm funny. I guess I'm safe then. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> I think Cara is pretty safe too. Yeah. That's not a satirical thing. That was an actual study. That was Cara farted on Alex when we walked out the house today. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> you farted on him? Like was, no, she was standing I next didn't. to him in the kitchen talking. and let out a little I tiny fart. I to talk to my other brother because he just got back to Virginia <laughs> off the ship. And I didn't even like notice I know, that I actually Dota farted. Right it was just like a small little thing, and then I just smelled so bad. And I'm like, I'm sad. You <laughs> smell like, bad. I'm sorry, we You're left. S- hey, my Al. sister. We Al, left them in bad? there. We That's left that stink being in there. Cured. My That's sister. Your You're being welcome. Cured. <laughs> we were driving to, or we were driving home from Boston the day after New Year's, and I don't know what Amanda ate, but she farted in the car, and it smelled so bad, and she just like <laughs> was like, I didn't fart, I promise, I didn't fart, and she's laughing the whole time. And it Says the bitch who disgusting. farted, and it smelled like Little rotten do you guys broccoli know. in the shower today. My brother oh, has God, like yeah. a, shower my brother has a smell, like if anybody farts in the car, if he farts, in, farts in the car, nuclear. we know that it's him, because it just <laughs> smells the same, and it's just stronger, or not, <laughs> like not as strong. I swear he's got some sort of fungus living in his ass. Yeah. Like <laughs> his farts are fucking <laughs> rancid, man, rancid. That literally just made me get choked up a little bit in the back of my throat. See, my my mom will fart and then she'll try and blame it on like me or my sister <laughs> or Bob. I will, She's I like will, Tasha. I'm like mom, that was you. <laughs> I'll never forget my grandma coming over to my house when we were still living like in K-Pack. All of us were like younger. This conversation Listen, into? <laughs> my grandma came in the front door and she's waiting for us, and she le- just just made like the slightest little lean to rest her hand on the couch and just farted. <laughs> And like stone face acted like it didn't <laughs> even happen. <laughs> it was a floorboard. She She's like, no. The floorboard squeaked. <laughs> I shit myself. I shit myself. <laughs> it's a vine. <laughs> <Fucking> a. <laughs> hey, little do you guys know, pink eye, cure for cancer. <laughs> uh, no. Have you had pink eye? What? Have you had pink eye before? Yes. Have you had pink eye? Yeah. Have you? I don't know. I had pink eye when I was 19 years old, which I think is a little too old to get pink eye. Did uh, someone say it on your face? I had it like two years ago. But listen, Car, it, your it hair. was <laughs> your hair. What is it doing? <laughs> pink eye was it's the so worst cool. shit I've ever. That's so dumb. You look it's so stupid. <laughs> I woke up and my eye was sealed shut with like eye boogers. Oh yeah, and I was like, it's this so stupid. I couldn't open my eye, Mark. Like pink eye is the worst. Like I it's th- it's such it a paralyzed. stupid sickness. <laughs> It's so dumb. It's a bacterial infection, <laughs> yeah. right? And I open. It's the grossest thing to me. My eye was Pink literally eye? sealed shut yeah. with yeah, eye Yeah, it's boogers. really gross. It reminds me of like those kittens that you find that get sick and they got like their eyes all crusted shut. Oh, but God. the doctor, when I like the last time that I went in, she said that there's two ways that you can get it. You can get it from like from bacterial, farting in the eye. like from that. <laughs> yeah, you can get pink eye from something like that. But you can still get you can get pink eye from allergies. Oh yeah, that's what I have. That, right, I when you didn't I found get out pink I was eye when you when I farted in your. F- that yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I farted on Cara's. I, I farted on Cara's fucking pillowcase, and the next day she had pink eye. Oh, oh my god! I'm kidding. That that's never not happened. how that happened. That has I never happened. Out, that's how I found out I was allergic to cottonwood. What is my fuck? my eye was was literally of all sealed things shut. cottonwood. Yeah, that's man. Weird. Anytime that shit starts, it looks like snow in the summertime. Anytime yeah. that stuff, I get stuffy nose, cough, Ugh. weird watery eyes. It's awful. So we're kind of we're, we're discussing these vaccination things, and like uh, we discussed. In parts. We discussed parts, before, yeah. th- you know, the choices you can make with your kids on on uh, their sexuality and w- their their genders. Uh, what do you guys? Yeah, because th- you can totally like decide whether your child is gay or not, right? Oh <laughs> god, no, don't, don't, get, don't get me you started. Know, you Cara. Just you can what decide is what what gender your child is. So, so Tosh, it off. Tosh brought this up, and I think <laughs> I think we all kind of had the same idea. Is uh, what what do you guys think about circumcision? Yes. Yeah. Uh, one hundred percent. Don't yeah. tell me you agree with that shit either. You can get the fuck out of here. One hundred percent. You want you want to circumcise your yes. Yeah, God I damn. Agree. Okay, so we're all gonna agree on this. But on the other side, wasn't it your sister? Yeah, Did my she sister. Listen? No, okay, not even so. on the other but side of that. Then. I have I have weighed the options. I've asked Mark about it before because obviously you know that we we want to have kids. I 
I don't a hundred percent know that I would want to do it. There's Stop still, it. There's still a part of me that feels like it's. I mean, it's gonna hurt the baby, and they're gonna they're gonna forget about it. They're never gonna remember they're, it. Yeah, exactly. But it is something they can do in adult as an adult if they really want to. Yeah, yeah. that hurts more. The, go through the pain of feeling. Okay, I'm, just, what I'm sorry. I have. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I will never, ever, ever in my life want a scalpel to my dick and. And it, no, I'm sorry. What girl eaten. wants? What girl wants to have sex with an uncircumcised penis? Lots of girls. Plenty of them. I've yeah. never. I've and never and seen I mean, I've only had sex with Mark in my <laughs> real life, so I've only <laughs> seen. Oh, really? Or yeah, I've, I've never seen a, a circumcised it, it looks penis, like a pig in a blanket, though. Ugh. I've seen them. I've, Stop I've it. seen them like on like my phone and stuff. What kind of shit are you <laughs> looking at? <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I've, I've been no, I've been curious. I'm like, what does it look like? So I googled. Literally, it. Google pig in a blanket, and you'll see yeah. it's uncircumcised dick. Except like, a pig in the blanket is wrapped in bacon, so that's better than a circumcised. No, a pig dick. in a blanket is wrapped is wrapped in wrapped in dough. It's a it's a fucking sausage wrapped in dough. Oh, yeah. Pig in, pigs in You're a blanket right. are so good. You're right though. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, are. I do I do for the most part feel that you know they say that you know they get you get your kids circumcised. It's cleaner. It's easier to keep up on for them Fuck and all that yeah, kind of is. stuff. Yeah. It's I mean, it's to is it really the worst too? thing? Like sex still feels great, doesn't it? For you too. I I mean, it, it feels great for me, but I don't. Listen, I don't know. Go there. I can't. I can't tell you how it feels for an uncir- uncircumcised. It's dick, supposed to feel better. Like, do any cut, of our listeners have uncircumcised here's, penises? Here's what I'm going to say right step now. Step forward, if you. I'm do. the one. Step step don't actually. To know. Let's not. Actually, here's what I'm going to say too, and that is I. Mark and I are the ones that have dicks between our legs. Okay, so when. I fucking sit on my nuts wrong. It hurts. <laughs> right. So I don't want to know what it's like to have a knife taken to my penis. Okay. I just don't want to know that. I'm just saying like as a, for little ki- for kids, you know, like I'm saying like you are circumcised. Does sex still feel great? Because they say that if you are uncircumcised, well, sex I have, feels better because I, I find they have it, more of those nerves that don't. I find so it dirty. difficult to have sex that feels bad. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, so my that's that's his big head hurts. talking. Both this of them. Hurts. So listen, <laughs> my sister had. T- um, she I don't t- even want to hear this we right now. T- listen. Okay. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. We were talking about circumcising. I don't know even how we got on this topic. I don't know. You guys are. I don't all know. We we're at up. my dad's house. You guys are fucking. Oh, and this is deviants. a different sister. I thought you were talking about Amanda. <laughs> we were t- so we're talking. She bones some guy that had uncircumcised dick. Who? I was th- I was hoping oh. that you weren't going to go there, but that's the thing. No, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll ask her. I don't know. I don't think okay, she did. Okay, stop it. Um, yeah. so <laughs> she. <laughs> what? I missed that. What was it? I was going to say text her. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, Tom. I don't. I wasn't talking has. about the pen. You yeah, click away. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> And now I have to get back on track. Everyone's <laughs> distracting uh, me. One of your sisters is talking about uncircumcised Yeah, we're dicks. talking about it. And so she tags me in a post, and it's about all these children that have died from I getting circumcised. And I, stuff. I, I and don't. I'm, my I, thought is. I find is, that hard to believe. I feel like they're going to the wrong hospitals. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, the kind that don't have real doctors. Or, or, these or, or are they're getting true Judaism circumcisions. Because a true Judaism, Ju- uh, a true Jewish circumcision is requires the. Uh, pastor i don't remember what his official name is the guy who's Minister. fucking circumcising you during your bris is supposed to bite off your foreskin <laughs> that uh, is a true yeah. jewish circumcision oh god i feel like you're not jewish enough to to testify that that is an actual thing <laughs> i'm not jewish anyways, i'm catholic so i know well, but you're like that's what i'm saying you're not jewish like at all so you don't know for sure no, that that's that like a real thing and not jewish just a myth but whenever i think of it now I think about the league when when their baby is supposed to be getting circumcised and, and like the doctor moves and they cut it wrong. They have circumcised. No, them? Jessica's son had to get his done twice. What? Mm-hmm. Was it too big? They didn't. They didn't like. They didn't trim it right the first time, so he had to go back in and take the rest of the skin because oh. they didn't do it right the first time. Brutal. Poor little guy. He had to get it done twice. But. but like I don't know. I just feel I like. I just I, I like all the horror stories. I feel like they're very like. They're very few and far between in this person. The post was just a... They found every single thing they could to scare people off. And that does scare me. But I feel like if you're going to the right hospital and you have the correct doctor, you're not... Your child is not going to die I from I feel like if... Uh, I just feel like an uncircumcised wiener is way... It's may, way more maintenance in general. You have to you have to pull your foreskin back just to keep everything clean in there. Yeah. I couldn't imagine that extra effort in the shower. Fuck that. <laughs> and then on top of that, let me put it this way: if a guy with an uncircumcised wiener doesn't happen to take a shower that day and he's been working all day, exactly. is he gonna stink or something? Are you gonna want to give him a blowjob? Fuck that. Okay, well I was gonna go there, but 
I'm just I'm just saying like there's I I have some fat on me. <laughs> I know what I know what it's like to get some sweat oh, in between Natasha. in between the skin folds. What is that? It's gross. that's an uncircumcised is dick. That? Yeah, it's a, it's a pig in a blanket. Yeah, it's so. It gross. looks like a worm. It, yeah, it's, <laughs> it is. It's a little. It's a little inchworm. I forget what those worms are called. There's a worm that literally looks just like that. Look at all these penises. <laughs> Sound bite. <laughs> bite. <laughs> Sound bite. <laughs> oh my god! Look at all these penises. Oh my god. Huh, now everybody's looking up dicks except for me. I'm just not gonna, me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just write out my phone. I'm gonna write down what Natasha just said. So you're they're looking at dicks and you're writing the word dicks and yeah, I'm just gonna that's sit a here funny and, sound look, and wait for everybody to come back penis. to talk. It's a wiener penis. It's a er, wiener penis. It's caterp- <laughs> caterpillar wiener. I don't know. What, what are you talking about? It's a caterpillar wiener. What? I don't know. Is that it's real? A, yeah, it's a walking wiener. No. It's a walking wiener. Is that what you like randomly thought of and decided to go find? Yes. Yes. Um, weird, Mark. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, all right. So like I said, I have s- I have some fat, and everyone's got some skin folds on them somewhere. So like, you know how much sweat you get in there? It's gross. Mm-hmm. Imagine having that on your genitals. Like, yeah. No, thank you. No, I'd rather not think. My that balls are sweaty enough. Thanks. <laughs> you <laughs> That's know, funny. I come home. <laughs> I sit on my balls. I've sat on my balls I've too. It's fucking balls not fun. Times. It's not fun at all. It hurts I know, like it's, a motherfucker. It hurts so bad. I've done it so many times. Listen, I I've you sat <laughs> on his balls. <laughs> no, my Excuse own. Excuse me. <laughs> I've uh, no no Shit. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this this episode's taking a turn. It's gotten real weird. Oh, we've gone downhill. We jumped the shark, guys. Balls wieners. I love talking about boobies. <laughs> I love talking about boobies. That Roush. He should sponsor us, really. <laughs> if, he, if he just wants to buy an ad, like, 15 bucks, let's hey, do it for him. Start circumcising people, and we'll we'll talk about you more. Oh, <laughs> man, that's a great idea. Oh, my God. No, I... I and you know, you know what the thing is? Like, I've heard horror stories about guys who have tried their own at-home circumcisions because they have uncircumcised wieners, and they're adults. Like, don't, don't do that. You don't want your kid to grow up and hate his wiener because it's not like everyone else's. That's and the then thing. Try, try to circumcise himself mm-hmm. because he's self conscious. Because you know everyone does something like that. Like they get self self conscious about something and they do it themselves. Like Kara with her hair, and me with my hair. You guys are self conscious about your hair. You're self- no, oh, well, I am what? now, but uh, why? Yeah, my hairlines are seeding because I'm getting old. Listen, I wear a hat. I wear a hat every 24 day. Twenty four hours day. a day. Not really, but like a good twelve hours of the day, I wear a hat backwards. Yeah. My hair. I'm gonna be bald by the time I'm 35. Don't worry about it. I don't. I don't have the head shape for huh? a bald head. What? So. Huh? At least I can say that I rock a backwards hat like a boss. You know. But what I'm anyways, like Kara, when she was younger, she don't cut she her own hair. <laughs> right, Kara? Hmm? When you were younger, you cut your own hair. Yeah, I think yeah. all kids cut their hair at some Not point me. in their lives. I didn't touch my. Not hair. I cut me. my own hair when I was younger too. My dad would have cut my fingers off if I did. You know, that. the stories about me cutting my hair would be a lot funnier if my sister hadn't shaved her eyebrows off oh and trumped me. <laughs> Excuse Trump me. Trump me. Go on, like went, you know, like over. St- I don't know. President she, walled, she walled up and kicked your ass out of the country. One up to me. Maybe that's what I was looking for. She walled up. My all sister, hail Trump. She walled up. She walled up. Stop. My it. sister shaved her eyebrows off when she was like 12. Which My one? sister's like, I want to draw them oh. on like grandma. Yeah. She was like, she's like, she just shaved them off. And she came downstairs. I was like, what did you do? She's like, it's a lot easier to draw them on this way. I was like, you're insane. And she looks so scared. She looked like uh. super, super sane. See, Goku. that's like a sane thing. My sister just thought that like my grandma draws. Her, so how are your eyebrows, eyebrows and nipples have disappear? Any eyebrows. <laughs> oh. So my sister, actually, my sister didn't even use like a razor or anything to shave them off. She used tiny scissors, like the little kinds that you can and cut buy in her a nail pack. Off? And she cut her eyebrows off with scissors. Oh, my God. Wow. Yep. So then they had to let, they had to like cut her bangs so that they sat above her eyes <laughs> to cover her forehead. Bowl cut it. It's terrible. It's so, like, yeah, terrifying. Like a, a little get, kid with no they eyebrows. So, they, got so, <laughs> they got so powerful that their eyebrows and nipples disappeared. Super Saiyan 3. Uh, what? What? Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I remember. Car knows. What was that? There was that show <laughs> Kyle XY or whatever and he had no belly button. Yeah. He's a I clone. Remember that. Right? He's a clone. Yeah. Is he a clone? Well, if you don't have a belly button, you're a clone. Listen, that show looked so stupid that it didn't even want to I never. I, I, I thought he was cute, yeah. so I watched I agree. a little bit of it. Excuse me? He was cute. He was Did not cute. Hold on, turn the mic up. He was I cute. <laughs> 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 I farted. <laughs> Chris was a Fox! Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
how come I'm the only one who doesn't get scared by Mark's voice? I don't know. No one's he's, like when I don't no. talk for a while. It's like everyone gets used to me being quiet. He's like, oh. Don't get, get used so to that. I'm loud. You get so loud. You do loud. loud. I'm so used to. It. I think I'm going deaf wow. too. So I think we're okay. I'm going deaf too. It's fine. You've been deaf. What? Weren't you born deaf? What? I'm confused. What? <laughs> Anyways, uh, pushing an hour here. Do we want to plug one more time and get the hell out of here? What are no. we plugging? Am I plugging you? You're gonna plug me. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, shout out to the guy who did our intro, Vox Adams. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Ben Sound at BenSound.com because, you know, he did a good job. In case you need stuff for a project, sounds, yes. uh, any kind of music, go on there. If it's a podcast, stay the fuck away from there. You'll be all right. Yeah. Uh, please visit our website at T4Podcast.com. You can listen and download episodes. Check out our blog posts, updates, as well as some tidbits about us. You can also find our episodes on our go-to podcast apps, including iTunes, Podcast Edit, addict cast box and podbean pretty much everything except spotify please subscribe and leave us a, a review and rating it's a great way to help support us for free it goes a long way towards promoting us and us gaining popularity that'd be great you can find us on facebook by searching for tfr podcast we post weekly updates and share our episodes drop us a like and follow us to stay connected for when we make new posts uh-huh. uh if you're interested in owning some of your very own podcast merch check us out on redbubble we currently have stickers, mugs, and phone cases available. Every purchase goes towards toward to support our growth, and we appreciate you guys making our logo or rocking our logo day to day. Damn it! Real quick, how is that mug? I love it. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks really good. I haven't seen it in person. It's obviously. really big. Like the logo's big on it. It goes yeah, like the logo from the stretches to the across top. the entire fucking mug. The, yeah. the logo's really high quality. Does it lose any kind? of... Is it grainy or any kind of? No, it no, looks, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks Doesn't really, really good. I have the, I have the, I paid for the logo that's really, really high quality, so I was glad. To oh, and it's not it's like, not it's not like the crappier ones, like it's, cause I got the travel mug where you can get cut mugs that like pop out. It actually screws a little, it's like a slight twist to really? take it off. Yeah. So you like cool. it? Yeah. And it looks good? Yeah. So pod, uh, I rock it on my desk every day. It's quality. Yeah. Red bean. Check us out on, uh, on Red, Red Bubble. Red Bubble. Red, Red, Red bean. bean. Red oh, bean. You said pod bean. That's what I was yeah. thinking because I was going to ask you what the hell pod bean was. <laughs> pod bean's another podcast app. Okay. See, I'm uh, not aware of that yeah. one. Uh, yeah. Red Bubble. Check us out on Red Bubble. You get some cool stuff there. Sweet. Uh, we got to get stickers off there. We finally, bun- uh, we finally launched our YouTube channel and we'll be posting future episodes on there that will be lo- available one. to listen to <laughs> starting with this episode episode 28 hi just search for tf4 podcast give us a like and su- subscribe there and of course you can enjoy if you enjoy us so much that you would like to help us grow financially you can become a patron at patreon.com just search for tf4 podcast and you'll see a variety of reward tiers where we give you awesome stuff in exchange for your support shout out to dustin and shout out to steve for being our patrons patrons so far and our first guests, basically the first yes. two guests. Go back first to the first episode. Thank you. And all of these will be linked on our website. You can find it all on tf4podcast.com if I'll you don't there. feel like searching for it manually. Ta da! Yeah. Mark, very good, man. Thanks. Good job. You'll get better I'm with getting that, better. I promise. Mm-hmm. And Thank I like the live stuff. I know we talked about maybe pre recording and putting it in there. But yeah. so uh, being, able, being able to add a little bit of it kind of makes it, makes it feel real fr- instead I, of just robotic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so I think that's about time to wrap it up. Thanks for listening, guys. Well, we've had a great time talking to you guys and talking to each other, and you know, kind of Fuck filling you, filling this hour, bu- hour full of bullshit. I don't like I don't like talking. Shut up, Vox. Okay. I've I've been Marcus. I'm Kara. I'm Natasha. I'm Vox. Bye. Bye. Bye.